An elephant makes a big poop. A mouse makes a tiny poop. Grown-ups poop, children poop too. While some children poop on the potty, others poop in their diapers. Hey Julie, is there a right way to poop? Maybe Robert, just maybe. Once upon a time, humans everywhere popped a squat when they needed to relieve their bowels. In fact, for thousands of years, our ancestors hunkered down behind bushes when they needed to do their business. Sitting down while defecating appeared sometime around the 5th century BC, even becoming a kind of social scene in Roman times with public latrines outfitted in rows of interconnected toilets. Privacy schmivacy, bring on the love toilet. Commodes became increasingly common as the years rolled by, particularly with the advent of the flush toilet in 1890, and the proliferation of of plumbing infrastructure in the 19th century laid the groundwork for today's modern marvels. Lids that open automatically, warm air that envelops the derriere, not to mention bidets that bathe our bums with a spray of fresh water. But for some, the toilet is seen as a disservice to the dew, proselytizing that there's a better way to poop. Now to be clear, squat advocates aren't poo-pooing the invention of the toilet itself. Modern sanitation and sewer systems are a definite upgrade in the health and welfare department. It's the angle of the dangle that's at issue here. Specifically, the anorectal angle, a bend between the rectum and the anus where feces exits. When we stand, there's a 90 degree angle in the bend that puts pressure on the rectum and, in concert with the sphincter, helps to keep feces from falling out of our butts. In a sitting posture, this angle expands by a scant 10 degrees, but a squat increases the angle by 36 degrees. According to Daniel Lametti writing for Slate Magazine, this is significant because, quote, in a squatting posture, the bend straightens out, like a kink ringed out of a garden hose, and defecation becomes easier. How easy, you might ask? Well, a 2003 study recruited 28 volunteers to assume three different postures while evacuating their bowels, sitting on a standard toilet, sitting on a low toilet, and squatting. On average, volunteers voided over twice as fast when squatting, and they rated their squat position bowel movements as, well, more satisfying. So yeah, pulling a crouching tiger hidden dragon would appear to have several benefits, including less strain and less of a chance of developing hemorrhoids. Definitely something to ponder the next time you find yourself perched atop the porcelain throne. Hey, nice stool. Why, thank you. And hey, if you want to check out more fecal matters, make sure you watch this video on pooping into the fire. And quick question for you, when you use a public restroom, do you hover or do you cover? Drop your comment below, and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.